All right, welcome back to another episode of War of the Visions. Uh, we are going to do Trial of Reckoning Hard Boss today, and then we are going to follow that up with the polls on the Hard Boss. And then we are going to follow that up with uh, World of Armory. Uh, we're going to make the Titus Necklace, Yuna Staff, and the Orange Sword. Uh, and I finally was able to get a defense version, the shield version of the uh, plant armor. So we're going to make that as well. On top of anything else weird that I can get. So Yuna opens with an energy blast, hits him. Uh, here we got the Kotetsu jut shot on top on the uh, and the Awakened Flash. So he's triple. So she's basically triple uh, triple weakened here uh, to defense down slash and ice. Uh, it's an ice type slash team. This team ranges roughly around seven thousand to eight thousand ish. Uh, you know, Aaron's gonna do tornado. It depends on whether or not um, the biggest uh, the biggest differential in this depends on whether or not uh, one of my guys procs his uh, procs the boss's um, what you call it procs the boss's uh, reactive skill. It's crucial that he kills that uh, mob over there in the back because killing th all four mobs gives you, I believe, two thousand. Uh, that will give you two doubt, uh, 200, I believe. Um, there, that last shot, uh, if, if Aaron did, uh, did his, uh, Vanishing Blade, I should be able to get 8,000 because of the overkill. But the overkill bonus there is very low because he didn't actually do that, but that's fine. Uh, that was just a quick show, uh, of the team. Uh, it's an Ice Slash team. Um, mostly everybody has a similar type of style. Uh, either they will open with Titus using uh, Delay Buster or Jut Shot to uh, uh, her face is too ugly to um, lower her defense or slow and then wail on her from there. But seriously, this boss has a big issue of being um, the boss has a serious issue of being uh, a reactive skill that gives you a shield for three turns. Uh, that just gives you a huge variance in the amount of crystals you can get. So, that's really bad. Anyways, I believe that is it for this tier. Uh, let me see here. Let's see what this tier. Okay, I already got everything so I can reset. I was on tier 2. Uh, now we are on tier 3. I have 3,000, I should be able to get enough of these uh, necklaces to make the plus 5 version of the necklace. I'm considering keep running this because the necklace is actually pretty awesome. Uh, okay, didn't get it. Okay, I got it, so now I can go on to the next level. Uh, there's 10 necklaces there, but I don't really need to do that. Uh, I already got it, so I can just go to the last level. Or, uh, well, it's not the last level. That was pretty lucky that I got that right away. I had 18 necklaces. Now I think I have like 20 ish. Let's see. I'm just trying to push to the last level. That way I can get, um,. Those uh, tablets. Those tablets are huge. Or EX jump. Saves you a ton of grinding. Even though they're, I mean, they're easy to get, but it's pretty annoying. Oh, I finally got that on the last try. So we can go. Hit a reset. I believe this is the final step. There's 500, and this one was the crystal one, right? Okay, so this is the last step. There's 500, and. There's 550 here. I am short about 40 necklaces. I can run this uh, roughly five times. That's 50. I should be good to go. All right, we're just gonna go into the actual weapon making here because I realized that uh, pulling the pulling the token thing is kind of dumb when you have enough to guarantee it to show up. Uh, and I gotta do that like five times. I kind of feel like that was kind of dumb, so I'm gonna cut through that. Uh, in editing. Um, okay, so the three items we're gonna make today. Titus Necklace. 
This thing is freaking insane. Uh, for this, I recommend Spirit version. Um, you almost never really build vitality for anything, especially when it only gives 4,000 as opposed to something else giving like 6,000. So yeah, you would never give, you would never build vitality here. Um, aim, if the aim was at 20, I would consider building aim. Uh, but I believe the goal tool here is going to be barrier. Um, for the simple reason that there aren't that many items that give you barrier, uh, that give you spirit, uh, and at 16 as an accessory. Uh, realistically, there is, uh, smart cult, and there is, um, the other one. Uh, shoot, what's the other one? Uh, well, I'm having a brain fart here. Um, uh, platinum helm, here we go. Uh, I believe Smart Coat also gives, uh, also resists magic, but you can't really equip that on everybody because it's, uh, cloth only. So this is actually a really good alternative on top of the 20 dexterity. But the best thing about this item is it gives crit on the bottom passive effect. Because, uh, passive effect won't have any diminishing return when it stacks on to the top effect. So you can have, uh, but it doesn't stack with itself, so other passive effects with crit does not stack. But because of the 20 crit here, you can stack it on top of, uh, Titus, and, uh, have him wear something else that has crit, so another 20 crit there, he can get, you can get pretty close to about 100 crit. Uh, and the 100 magic resist, this is desperately needed on Titus, as well as anybody else that really needs 16 spirit. So realistically, if you wear this, you're getting something like 25 crit on top of uh, 26 magic defense, basically, and 20 dexterity. So, go to barrier is my conclusion here. Uh, magistral staff. Um, I'm just gonna go magic, really. Uh, your options are magic or crit here, really. Uh, vital isn't an option. Aim, luckily there isn't one, but... Aim is not going to be an option for the staff either, because Aim has the capability of, uh... Uh, Yuna has two auto attacks, or Yuna has two, uh, guarantee hit attacks, so there's really no point in getting Aim. Uh, but anyways, that's not even up for discussion. So, uh, the difference between Magic and Crit is 34, uh, whereas the Crit is... Uh, 200 and, uh, whereas the crit is 21 versus 5. Hmm. Um, I think I'm probably gonna go crit here, actually. Uh, both of them I believe is viable, but I would probably go crit because I have a crap ton of other staffs as it is that are magic. So, I'll go crit. Um, and for this staff, you kind of have to have, like, a little flare, so to speak. Because the Yuna best in slots weapon is, um is the uh, Sakura Staff, as with most of the classes, because, uh, because of the Light and Lightning. Um, so anything else that's not using that is either going to use Plat Rod or it's going to use this. I believe this has more magic than Plat Rod, I will have to check in a moment. Um, but the Crit, I believe, is awesome. 21 Crit, uh, that gives it a kind of a different flair, different flavor. But Critter Magic, I would say, is okay. Shimmering Blade, uh... Here, I'm probably going to go Assault or Crit. I will go Crit here as well, just because the 20 Crit is pretty big. Uh, Assault-wise, um, you can go Assault because he doesn't need Aim. Aurin's, uh, Aurin has a uh, guaranteed hit attack in the um, in Banishing Blade, so he doesn't need it. Uh, the rest of them don't really want to equip this sword. The rest of them probably will go for, uh, will go for uh, Golden Blade. Uh, also, if I'm gonna go for Ar the Orange Sword, there really isn't a point for me to go uh, Assault because my uh, Golden Sword has an extra has an extra 60 attack on top of that. That being said, though, this Great Sword looks fairly weak compared to Golden Blade. Golden Blade Assault version has pretty much a hundred more attack, and that's pretty significant um, versus the Dirty Ice. So. Okay. Uh, I take that for what you think. Take that for what you may. Uh, it is important to say that vision cards are base attack, so not including equipment. So you don't get an extra 15, 50% on top of this. Uh, the difference of the difference here is uh, 33. 33 is pack is not that bad, but the base attack on this weapon is pretty crappy. 
All right, here we go. We're actually gonna make the weapons now. Let's go with the necklace first. Uh, straight plus five version of the necklace coming up. And we want barrier. Uh, there's barrier. Okay, uh, next is the Yuna staff. I was gonna say that uh, the Arun sword is actually pretty good considering it gives 30. Um, and as you can see, I can make several of these. Uh, the Arun sword can, is actually pretty good considering it gives 30 ice attack, but the uh, attack damage is pretty crap. Uh, this one, I believe I wanted crit. Instead of magic. Uh, the magic version of this is one. Well, I can make two of them, so the hell with it. I can just make another one. Um, Orange Sword. Uh, Shimmering Blade, I believe it's called. The hell with it. I'll just make two of those uh, Yuna, sword, Yuna things, and I don't have an argument. See, I only got 52 here, but we got a plus three Orange uh, Aran Blade, so there we go. Uh, this one I want to go crit, right? Uh, anything but us. Just anything but aim. Uh, when you compare orange sword to, uh, something like purple lightning, it's actually pretty insane. Purple lightning, uh, maxed out has uh, an extra 5 slash, but it also has 30 ice. Versus, uh, assault orange shimmering blade is plus another 2 attack. So it actually has more attack than a plus 5 purple lightning. Not that plus 5 makes a difference. It's just the extra 5% slash. Um, and I wanted to compare it to the plat rod, right? Plat rod, magic version 162 versus the uh, Yuna staff at 170. I would say the Yuna staff is better than plat rod. Uh, so yeah, I probably should. I'll just make the. I'll just make the magic version of that as well. Uh, foil rod. I can make three of these. I was. I got these from farming while well, I was farming those tokens to get the ex jobs. Okay. All right. Cool. Here we go. Uh, let's go with weapons first. Fort by level ascending. Oh my gosh. Got one of these. Alright, let's go with the rod first. Uh, HP, magic, crit. Oh man. There goes all my, ma there goes all my staff books. Uh, should be buying HP, magic, and crit. E magic, crit. Not bad, the magic's pretty much maxed out. Should be able to max this at like 40. E magic, crit. Wow, okay. Uh, now I just need HP and crit. This is kind of awkward because if uh, if I already got the HP maxed out, I can kind of just roll all the crit here. Uh, I'm not sure if I can. I'm not sure if I can just go all the way with the. Uh, I'm not sure if I can just go all the way blind. That would be awkward. Man. Ah, uh, this just makes it awkward for me because of the stupid HP. Probably best way for me to do is I just hammer out the HP. Anyways, there's three there and there is four there, so that's seven. Four HP here. This should cap out the HP. Three levels left. I think we're good. Don't need any seals there, I think we're good. 
Alright, cool. Maxed out weapon. I mean, Blade is next. Uh... This one, um... This one might be a little harder to do because there's accuracy and evade here. Accuracy, evade, crit generally have a very low roll chance. So for this one, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hammer out the HP first. And then we are going to go... Uh... Not that I think Aaron really, Aaron really needs accuracy or evade, but I'm gonna go. Oh, don't need HP. I'm gonna go attack, crit, and let's go evade. Attack, crit, evade. Okay, the accuracy got a good chunk of accuracy there. Got a good chunk of everything there. Uh, magic and HP is capped out, so I only need attack. Uh, I think I guess we'll go again. Attack, accuracy, evade. Activate crit. Ow. I believe I just had a brain fart there. And got a slip of the tongue there. Okay. Plus one, plus one, plus two. Eh, not good enough. Hopefully, we get close enough that I can max out the rest. Okay, attack is capped out. I read the little math. I have 11 left. This is two. Two plus three is five. 5 plus 8 is 13. Nope, we're a little bit short. So, crit evade. Going up 3, I only got 3. Okay, that sucks. Uh, rather than wasting seals, I should just max it out and then just hammer out the rest. That's probably the best way to do it. Okay, so it's two accurate, two evade that I'm missing. Uh, I guess when we're done here, I'll give a quick comment on um, UR's is on. Uh, it's cool that UR's is on actually came out. Uh, I guess they have a, I guess they, I guess they data mined it in. Um, I guess they data mined it in, uh, what's that called? Uh, World of Armory? Oh my gosh. World of Cal. Uh, they, they data mined it in World of Cal. Because, um, the news only announced, uh, yours is on. I don't think they actually showed off any of his stats. So, it's pretty cool that they did that. Okay, let's see. Pretty close to half. Everything else is capped out. I was pretty lucky that everything else capped out. Okay, that everything else there capped out. We should be able to cap out here. Alright, we're basically capped out. So, apparently the uh, magic version is a lot easier to max out than the... Uh, other version. Uh, okay, plat armor is the one that I wanted to do. Uh, got a crap ton of these barrier plat armors that don't do shit. <sighs> uh, I gotta find my defense one. I have like six or seven of these uh, vital vital ones too that I use for drain force. Okay, plat armor. Uh, plant armor leveling up is super awkward. I remember leveling a couple of these, and I didn't, I couldn't even max it out, even with, um, I couldn't max it out even with my, uh, weapon pass. Oh, that's how bad this crap is. Eh, it's not bad. It's the defense raid. You can see my evade is freaking terrible. I only finally got one plus one there. Uh, my HP is doing well though, so hopefully I might be able to uh, cap it out through the back end. 
unfortunately, the evade, as you can see, evade is, is not one of those stats that moves at all. Uh, hey, we finally got an evade, but we didn't get any armor that time. Getting pretty close to uh, max HP. I might have to forsake the evade, which will really suck because I just threw in 50 evade seals. Wait a second. Uh, is this 19? That's pretty close. If I can just hammer that out, uh, and then hammer out the defense, I guess. I'm close enough to just hammer out the HP. Uh, accuracy is a must. If I hammer these two out, uh, I will have four left. Minus seven. Uh, I'm gonna have some minus evade there. It doesn't really matter what my evade is, but it kind of sucks that I had to waste that many evade. Uh, that I'm trying, even though I'm trying to max out the evade, it kind of sucks that um. Kind of sucks that I didn't get the maxed out evade, but it's plat armor. It's kind of plat armor is designed to be kind of dumb. Uh, but with 20 defense, I really don't need any evade. But that being said, we're gonna roll these anyways. Hopefully, we can get more than seven worth of stats. Off we go. Boom. 20 defense. Nope, we got exactly seven stats. So basically, using those seals was useless. Oh my gosh. And then just kind of for perfection's sake. I'm gonna roll these. Really? Plat armor does not need uh my uh does not need evade at all. So I didn't really need to do that, but kinda of one of those things that irks me if I if I don't have it capped out. Uh now for the necklace, I made a crap ton of necklaces just to see what the um, stats were, because uh, they didn't update it in World of Cow for a while. And okay, I need 380 of these. Mm, draw it from a great sword, because I have a whole crap ton of great sword, and I don't see any other great sword coming. Wait, uh, no, that's a, that's a spear. Oh. Uh, Wait, um, what's her face? Uh, 2B uses a great sword, right? Can't use that one. Anyways, here we go. Okay, so the challenge with maxing out the Titus necklace, uh, you can't really, you don't have anything that gives dex, or there's no, there's nothing that gives dexterity. So you gotta be careful, gotta make sure uh, everything else is capped out, and then you cap out dexterity with the natural points. So... Oh, I don't need defense, I need a spirit. Oh, that was close. Oh, damn, accuracy's capped, defense capped, or, well, defense is pretty close. I think this is close enough that, um, well, I don't really need to use this for the defense because it's only got one, so even if it does roll defense, it will max either way. Alright, we're pretty close. Uh, I gotta say, this one seems a little easier than I expected. I'm rolling dexterity a ton. I like how after it rolls zero out of zero, it just disappears. As like, as if it never gave me that, uh, burden to begin with. Okay, we're pretty close. Uh, uh okay, I got 12 left. Uh, 12, this is one. Here's two, so that's three. And then there's seven there, so yeah. Uh... 
So three, seven, ten, so we can get to forty-eight if we will cap out. Okay, there we go. Beautiful necklace there. All right, nice and easy there. Uh, I think that is all the stuff that I actually wanted to level up. Uh, what else did I want to craft? I think that was all. Rare by rarity, ascending. I would probably have to craft this again later. Um, I have enough Soul of Dermasa here to uh, make all three of my make all three of my remaining Soul of Dermasas uh, into plus five. But I don't have enough happy faces, so there we go. Actually, I think I do have. Oh no, wait, no wait. I have two plus fours, so I don't want to. I don't want to waste those. All right, cool. We're just gonna call it here. We're gonna call it day. Uh, call it a day here. Uh, and before that, we're gonna talk about UR's design. Um, so we're getting a vision card on top of that. So there's the vision card. Um. It didn't even. I don't even think they announced UR's is on yet, but World Division Calc already has UR's is on, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, the card here I, is Elsa Rao, the third place. Are these one? Is this top one, two, and three place? Is that why they get the Man Eater buff? I'm not sure, but I guess that's why. But if you look at it again, it's more water support, right? Uh, which makes me think that the. Which makes me think that the. Uh, the War of Division Calc data mine isn't correct. Um, for a certain, uh, basically because the War of Division Calc UR is on is Earth type, whereas here uh, this buff, this card clearly buffs Water type. Uh, I mean, it's cool that it'll buff Zazan, and it's just more, it's just more support for Titus. Uh, so, which means my free-to-play account will need to roll on this. Uh, Oh, that sucks. Because now I gotta. I still haven't gotten Aaron yet, and now I gotta roll on this. And I still haven't rolled on that bonus thing. Oh, man. Did we get this for free? I think we might, we might get this for free. Did we get this for free? I think we might get this for free. Uh, okay, anyways, next URs. Um, <laughs> UR Zazan. Well, so UR Zazan, um, or Zazan's getting EX, so I guess that's why they're releasing the card. But like I said, um, and I'm guessing that the uh, UR Zazan is going to be overpowered enough that they don't need this card if, if he really is going to be Earth type. Uh, which makes me wonder are we going to get UR Zazan instead of UR Mont? Because I believe UR Mont is the winner of the popularity contest in JP. So that's why they made you are mont. So is it gonna go you are Zazan Helena? And then we skip you are mont, and then later on there will be an event between us and JP where it'll cross over and they'll get Zazan and we'll get Mont. Is that how it's gonna work? Because I don't think you are Mont I think you are Mont is uh, was the winner, right? Uh, I think that's how it was. Anyways, uh, finally gives me an excuse to max out Phoebe. Uh, I gotta say, not having Phoebe in class matches has bitten me in the uh, has bit me in the ass a lot more times than I can count. Uh, there was a lot of there was a lot of uh, things that I wanted to do that I couldn't do. Based on the campaign, I'm guessing this "Thank You for Your Votes" vision card is gonna be a uh, it's probably not free. Uh, I, I don't think you're getting it free. You probably have to at least pull for it. Uh, maybe if you're lucky, you don't pull for it. And you just have to build it. Uh, but because of the 25 shards through the bingo board, I'm guessing that's why. Uh, we're also getting the uh, story back with uh, the Lucia story. Which is interesting, because I don't think Lucia got... Uh... Okay, that's weird. That's just the login bonus. I don't think Lucia got a UR, uh, but we're getting Raz Al Getty again. Uh, I believe this was a. I believe this story was pretty cool. Um, I think, uh, I think he gets. I think Adelar gets tortured and then escapes. Supposedly, according to my friend, I've never played this part yet because uh, I joined later. 
uh, do we get to see a your uh, EX here? Nope, Medina, Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh EX, I believe, is one of the better ones. Um, his uh, his cold I don't remember which move it is. I think it was cold Hetsu. One of his moves removes uh, removes re-res, so that makes it so that you basically need to probably EX him. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I have enough EX shards for Gilgamesh. Uh, those 600 shards, uh, those 600 select UR shards, does not give me the EX versions. I, however, do have a stack of, uh, I do, however, have a stack of 80 and 40s that I can probably throw at it and see if I can get, uh, Gilgamesh. Worst case scenario, I pull that, uh, big bonus banner and see if I can get him that way. Uh, Gilgamesh. I'm at 150. Yeah, I should be able to. I should be able to ex him if I wanted to. Um, we'll see. We'll probably ex him. Uh, but I'm thinking about exing Phoebe because uh, I kind of owe it to her since I didn't really uh, level her up for like the longest time. But anyways, thank you guys all for tuning in. Uh, the Ultimate G signing out.